Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we'll do my match reaction for Colombia and Brazil. So Colombia won 3-0 against Costa Rica, man. Sensational win for Colombia. They were fantastic on the day. And this Colombia team looked really good. This was a very dominant win against Costa Rica. Costa Rica looked really bad this game. Obviously, Sakura was at fault. You could argue he should have not conceded the first goal, making a stupid challenge outside the box. Luis Diaz steps up, scores. And yeah, for Colombia, man, they were great. David Sanchez just scored a great header there uh, to make it 2-0. And then John Cor uh, Cordoba scored to make it 3-0. James Rodriguez, man. James and Arias, Lerma, Cordoba, they're all firing together. And I look at this Colombia team, man, they're just looking so well organized, so well drilled, so well um, machined. And Colombia is looking amazing, man. 70 shots, five on target. And I think it's fair to say Colombia is in a great position. So with this win, they have officially qualified to the uh, quarterfinals. And they're in a great position to get top spot in the group because they're uh, as long as they don't lose against Brazil, a draw or a win will guarantee their spot, will uh, ensure they top the group. And yeah, for the uh, for Colombia, man, amazing win for them. Sensational win. And yeah. Now it's about Brazil, guys. So Brazil played against Paraguay. And the game ended 4-1 to Brazil. Brazil, man. Vinicius Jr. cooked. Cooked. Vinicius finally delivered for the national team. And I think it's a critical win for uh, Brazil because I look at this starting 11 for Brazil. It surprised me that Savio was actually starting this game. Rafinha got benched for this game, which was surprising. And they still start Rodrigo at striker. But you could tell early on, Brazil were the much better team. They were the much better team early in the first half. Brazil were getting things going with the early proceedings. They get a penalty there, which for me, I don't think it's a pen. And Baqueta misses the pen, so I guess it is justified. And the first goal, man, great, great goal there from Vinicius, man. Great, great finish there. You could say maybe the defense could have done better. But yeah, it's a goal. 38th minute of the game, you're, it's 1-0 up for Brazil. 35th minute of the game, 1-0 up for Brazil. Then the second goal, man, terrible mistake there from Espinosa. You know, tries to clear it, uh, does a partial clearance, and it's cleared to... Uh, uh, Sabio, and Sabio makes a 2 0 there, thinking, oh my geez. And the third goal is scored by Alderete. It's a stupid mistake from him to the defense, and he's just getting ball watching there. Ball watching there for the second, third goal. And then Vinicius scores again. And then at halftime, you're thinking to yourself, oh my geez, it's already over. Why is Gustavo Gomez not playing? Why is Miguel not playing? Like, why is uh, um, Angel Romero not playing? Like, you know, these kind of things. Like, Paraguay coach has to explain this. Then. Albert uh, Alderete scored a fantastic equalizer there second half. And then Paqueta gets his penalty uh, after he missed in the first half. And he got the assist, man. So, I think for Brazil, man, they look very good. But I feel like the score is a bit flattering to Brazil. Because as good as Brazil were in the day, I think um, I think Paraguay were good. They just weren't clinical. But what let Paraguay down for me is the defense. The defense let Paraguay down. Because typically Paraguay... Is always give Brazil a tough game, especially in Copa America. Brazil have always had a, t a difficult time to beat them, and I think the games when they have played in the past, like the past couple of editions, it's always ended nil 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 nil, and it's gone to pens. And Brazil have usually got the better of. So for Paraguay, I'm actually more critical of their defense more so than their attack because we know their attack is bound to miss many chances. We know their attack isn't exactly prolific, and the fact that we're only able to score one goal just shows you everything. But for me, the defense is what really concerns me because for Paraguay, they could have walked out this game with a 2-1 defeat or even a 1-0 defeat. Now, they put themselves, now they're eliminated. Now they're eliminated because their next game, it doesn't really, uh, because their next game, they won't be able to uh, catch up to uh, Costa, uh, Brazil or Colombia because Brazil and Colombia are both on four points respectively. So Paraguay's on zero. So Paraguay, even if they win against Costa Rica, it'll be for nothing. So for um, Brazil, as I said, man, very good win for them. Very dominant win. And yeah, man, so for Brazil, man, Vinicius, man, he had a masterclass. But Quetta was also good as well. But for my issue for Brazil is that midfield. That midfield was so bad. I, I don't think the midfield was great. Bruno Guimaraes, Andre Goma is not very good. Defensively, they look a bit shaky at times because Brazil were conceding a lot of set pieces. And Paraguay could have scored more set pieces had, uh, had Paraguay got some decisions in their favor. And yeah, man, so... I think for Brazil, as I said, they're slowly starting to build up, and it's good to see Vinicius have a masterclass, man. So, hope you guys did enjoy this little quick video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below, and yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.